She's getting a little antsy. Dude, I got her. I got her, yes. So we're out here today at a small little pond. We're gonna be trying to do some bed fishing at small ponds today, gonna be traveling around. We got Connor with us today. You guys have seen Connor in some of the episodes previously, but uh, we tried bank fishing, what, a few weeks ago? Yeah, not not too well, but the uh, the bad juju that I bring is gone. So we're gonna we're gonna catch some big big bed fish today. We're gonna He's, get on. <laughs> he said he has a few really big ones on bed, so I'm just pumped about it. But we're gonna go ahead and get out here, kick it off, get it started. It's been a while since we filmed a bank fishing video, so I'm just glad to be out here today. It's a nice day, hoodie weather. To be honest, we had a cold front blow in. It just feels good out here. We got the sun peeking through. And we're gonna try to find some big bass. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. You guys have been enjoying the content. We're gonna go ahead and hop into this and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm throwing. So guys, this is the little pond that we're at. Nothing too big. You got a little bridge back here, it gets shallow. We're just gonna walk around and look and see if we can find any beds, spot any big bass. He spotted a couple big ones this week, so oh my God. Bro, those geese, you see that one sitting there? I've had those things like hiss at me, try to get me. I had me. one come at me the other day, bro. They're all over the place. <laughs> And you said the big ones you found were over there, right? Yeah, r literally right next to that tree, to the left of that one, yep. and then under that big tree in the middle right there. Cool. This construction guy that was working on the concrete over here yeah. was like, what are you doing? He's like, you don't see that big fish under this, under the big tree over there? And I was like, there's a big fish right here. And he was like, well, go over there and look. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, look at all the bait, yeah, dude. Yeah, look at the koi right there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there is a koi. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, yeah, you can easily. Look at the GoPro. You see it on the screen? Easily see it. A ton of bluegill, yeah. A couple two pounders, right? Yeah. Pound and a half, it's two pounds. Not the pound. female, but that's those are. Yeah, there's the bed right there. But I yeah. literally walk over the other side of the tree and just duck down and hide and throw onto its bed. But it's literally like right in front. So guys, these are the rods that we got. I have a Mach 2 with a Custom Pro. We're gonna be throwing just a simple crawl on that, which I'll show you here in a second. And then the bait that I'm bringing out is this S Waver Glide Bait. Um, if we get some big ones around these beds. I think we could get one to turn on this glide bait, which would be awesome today. I think that would be the coolest little thing is to catch one on a glide bait. There's a bunch of big bluegill in here. I think we can get one to eat it. But well, we're gonna go ahead and rig up this Texas rig. I'm gonna grab these two. We have two packs of crawls. We have a natural color and then like a darker color. This one is summer crawl and the rage crawl. It has green pumpkin on one side, chartreuse on the other. One of my favorite crawls. And then this one is California Crawl, which is gonna have like a watermelon red, green pumpkin on one side and a black and red on the other. So this is a good like dark color. It's a good light color. I think we're gonna start off with this darker California Crawl and just see what we can get going. We haven't seen any of those big ones right now that he's talking about, but we're just gonna have to keep on looking around. To put this on your hook, all you gotta do, see, it's like green pumpkin or uh, watermelon red black and blue stick it through the head of the bait right here break it through slide your bait up to the top and then you just hook right there it's gonna be weedless just like that and we got like a little bullet weight we actually have a tungsten on right now it's just a one fourth ounce bullet weight three out ewg let's get started we're gonna see if we can call this fish out Connor said this fish is huge, like big, big. I see him right there next to this pie cone. Oh my gosh, he turned on it. There's no way. Dude, that fish is huge. Oh, it's, it's massive. Guys, I gotta throw this glide bait. That fish is massive. I don't know if he's eight pounds or seven pounds, but he's He's big, he's big, we're gonna leave it at that. If you guys notice, that's the bank. I'm standing way off here because I don't wanna spook this fish. What I'm gonna do with this swim bait once, one thing, we're gonna check our drag. And two, we're gonna beam it out there and work it up because you don't wanna put a big splash on this fish. We're gonna see if we can call this fish out. Oh, he's right there, oh my God. Watch him destroy this glide. He honestly didn't want anything to do with that. There's another one about two pounds with him. There's another one about two pounds right next to him. Yeah. 
I see another one right here. I don't know if that's a big one. Oh my God. Missed the small one. He just took my pinchers. All right, these fish are gonna bite. We, we gotta catch this big one. Connor said he broke them off, which is just heartbreaking. He broke them off yesterday. So if we catch this fish, it might have a hook in its mouth, which would be good because we can take it out and release him right back where he belongs. But I just had that small one, the male bite me. It's probably only a pound and a half, but this big one, I'm telling you, can't tell if he's five pounds or eight pounds. It's sometimes hard to tell in the water. Small one's about to eat me. Let's go. That's the male. Yeah, that's the male. The female is lurking. All right, this is our first fish today, guys. Um, we just caught the male, the female that we're trying to catch. This is the first step done. You know, I want to get this male off the bed, see if the female will pull up. I'm going to release the male right over here. I don't want to like throw him in the water and make a loud noise and spook that female. So I'm just going to gently release him right here pretty little fish though we got to start somewhere and we got a big one right in front of us so <laughs> that's good to catch the first fish i missed him before he took my little pinchers nice oh she just tapped it Gave a little love tap. Oh, there's two. Hey, there's two other good ones pulling up. Not bad fish. This the female's getting protective now. There's another one that's like two and a half pounds. <gasps> oh! oh no! All right, it's okay, it's all good. She's mad, dude, she's mad. Dude, did you see her mouth open up when I hooked it? That fish was big, dude. That's a five pounder, at least. She'll, she'll bite again, man. I didn't see her eat it, I just felt her eat it, so I was kind of shooting in the dark there. I mean, how, I can't tell how big she is, man. I can't tell if she's five or if she's like seven. I know, it's hard to tell. Come on, right here. Oh my God, she tried to eat it. She actually opened her mouth for it that time. Dude, took my crawl right off. We are getting a step closer to catching this fish. I'm gonna actually put on the summer crawl color, see if it might entice her a little bit more. She's already like really aggressive because there's a bunch of bluegill. You can just tell when a bass is kind of getting aggressive and getting mad. You can start to see that their fins are moving, start to see that they're roaming in circles and they come right back to the same spot. And uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, this fish is catchable. She's bit me a couple times now. She is on it. Yeah, dude, mine, mine's about to bite, dude. Pretty sure she's getting a little antsy. Dude, I got her. I got her, yes, I'm big one. Oh my God, that's a tank. Dude, that's a tank. That's a five pounder, dude. <laughs> Look at that fish, bro. She finally ate it, dude. I don't see a hook in her mouth from when you broke her off. Is that the one that you broke off? <laughs> Dude, that's a good fish. That's awesome. That's awesome right there. Finally got that big female to bite. That's a big one right there. She's definitely five pounds. I couldn't tell if she was eight, seven, six. It's so hard to tell when they're in the water, but that's a five pounder right there. Just got her right off bed. We're gonna release her right back where she belongs, but man, does it feel good to do some bank fishing and ate that bait right there on the rage crawl. Let's get her back in the water. That's the best feeling in the world, working on a fish like that and finally get her to bite. All right, baby. Thank you for biting. You can go right back to your bed. There she goes. She's literally already back on her bed, chasing bluegill right there. 
Man, that was awesome. That was so sick to work on that fish. Well, we've caught two fish today so far. We got a male and a female. Um, the female was really big, man. That was a big bass. I was hoping it was gonna be like eight pounds, but it's so hard to tell when you're looking at them in the water between five pounds and eight pounds. If you guys saw in one of the recent videos where I went out and busted that really big bag, I saw some fish in the water that looked like they were five and they ended up being like seven and a half. So sometimes it's hard to tell when you're looking at them with your sunglasses through the water, but that was a big fish. That was a lot of fun. Let's go walk over here by Connor because he has another one on bed. See the bed right there? Yeah. It's on that and it pushed all the stuff over here and now the fish is swimming around all of this grass right here and then circles and then it'll come back and look at it. Dude, she is eyeballing your bait right now. I know, this is what she's, I've, been, I've spent 20 hours trying to catch this fish. I'm not even joking. <laughs> like I'm losing my mind over here. All right, let's see what we can get going. Bring my stuff over here by Connor. I really wish we could have got that big girl to eat that swim bait, but I mean, the rage crawl, I'm not even kidding guys. This rage crawl has caught like my top five biggest fish in the last two months. Like that, this rage, only the rage crawl. Like, I've caught a few really good ones on the thunder cricket, which is like the chatter donk, but the primary big fish bait has been this rage crawl and summer crawl. It's been whacking them. Sure, yeah. You want me to? Yeah. I don't want to steal your fish, dude. I don't... No, no, go for it. Heck, I already caught a big one, man. If, uh, we can try to th roll it. Pat, watch her just destroy it first cast. I know, dude. She was, she was trying. <laughs> that big swim bait I was throwing, but it was swimming. I think she's mad already. Watch her destroy. Watch her just smoke this, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, she wants it so bad. Yeah, she's gonna eat it. She's gonna eat that swim bait. <laughs> you wanna keep working on her? Yeah, let me let me try. Yeah, you, you try some more, dude. And if if you can't get her on that crawl, I'll I'll try to get her on the swim bait, but I don't wanna steal it. Oh my god. She's looking at it. Dude. This is exactly where we were fishing. You can tell there's like so many bluegill, ton of grass right here, and then you have that shade from all those trees, and that's where one of the big ones were. Then the five pounder I caught was on that tree right there. Um, that's where I caught that fish, which is crazy. I know we can catch some more today. I think he has like another spot that we can go hit, but he called me up this morning. He was like, or he called me last night, late last night, and he was like, dude, I broke off like a couple giants. You gotta come out here and catch them. So, that's what we're doing today. We're having a good start so far. You know, caught a male, caught a five pounder. Just gotta keep on hunting and see if we can get one on that swim bait. So we just left that first spot, came out to this new pond. We got right behind us, this little tiny, little, tiny little place. And Connor said he, you said you caught a couple good ones recently? Yeah, you caught like what like a three and a half? Four yeah, pounds? there was a three and a half on a bed right there. And there's actually a bed over here that we're gonna go go check out because there was a nice fish on that i couldn't catch and that was about a week ago and he said there was a lot of snakes so we're, we're gonna, gonna be cautious eyes peeled. <laughs> yeah we were like leaving that last pond and connor's like can i stop by my house real quick to grab some long socks yeah. and i had a feeling <laughs> on why you said that but you didn't really go in depth so i was like we walk out here he's like yeah be careful for snakes i'm like that's the one thing i don't mess with but let's go ahead and start fishing well no snakes no snakes today connor yeah, we don't, don't, we don't need any fish don't Listen, I don't know about snakes. I do see the beds though, like a yeah. lot of little beds on the ground. By the way, guys, if, you go, if you're watching this video, you made it this far in it, hit the like button if you guys wanna see some more bank fishing content and see the bank fishing videos back on the, vid back on the channel because I have yet to film a bank fishing video in a couple months. So this is like our first little bank video back. And if you guys enjoy these types of videos, like let me know down below. I wanna know your feedback. And if you have any ideas for like, the bank fishing videos please let me know like i love reading y'all's comments and uh even if i don't get to reply to everyone i still get to read them so drop a comment down below let your boy know what you want to see from the bank fishing videos oh i got one no he came off i think he took my crawl dude he had it though yeah he messed up my crawl let me uh what did you you have one oh you see that male just run by Chasing a brim off of that bed. Guys, I'm gonna put on one of these darker, darker crawls instead of the summer crawl. <gasps> yeah! 
Yeah, I got him. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice, dude. I watched that fish come up and just eat it. He is not hyper. He didn't shake one time, just let me grab him. Got him right in the mouth. I don't even know where my rage crawl went. That is our first fish at this like little canal, canal pond. There's like a lot of grass on the bottom and these fish, you know, it's kind of hard to work that Texas rig with that weight. And I just started reeling it towards the edge of that grass. I watched him come up behind it. I slowed it down and he came and ate it. Pretty little bass, nothing big, but hey, I'm just excited to catch one in this pond and see what else there has to offer in here. It's a pretty fish. Thank you for biting, buddy. I'm just gonna toss you right back. That could have been the one that bit me earlier because the other bite I had was right there. He like came up behind my crawl and I slowed it down and he just ate it. Oh, here's one, Connor. Oh, gosh. What? There's one right here. Huh? He's right here. One? Yeah, he's like two pounds. I can call this lady that lives on the pond. <gasps> Dude, that was so cool. That was so cool. I like didn't even have my reel clicked when he ate it, dude. I was just like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Not a bad one. It's a little guy. He's not two pounds, but it's a one pounder. Right when it got <laughs> yeah, dude, that was cool. I like watched him just eat it and then my reel wasn't clicked So I had to like get my other hand and click my reel. It's a pretty little fish second one in here guys Nothing big not like that big five pounder. We caught earlier, but We'll get up next to the water get him a good release still a pretty bass Not bad. Thank you, buddy. I think I served fourth or fifth fish today There she goes. She might have been on bed right there, man yeah. The water feels super warm too so we just came out to a new little pond. Um, Connor actually asked these people, you know, hey, could, do you mind if we come fishing back here? And they were very kind and said that we could go in their backyard and fish. So that's awesome. You don't meet many nice people like that nowadays. You know, people think fishing is just a crime. And, you know, people, some people get a little crazy with the fishing sometimes, but I was very kind of that guy to let us fish here. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hopefully, I guess a really good one. Connor said this spot could be really good, so. I brought out a lipless crankbait and I also brought out this little Texas rig that we've been catching them on. So, see what we can do. Did he say if he cares if we walk on the dock? Oh, cool. Yeah, dude, like all that, that uh, like grass on the bank, the reed looking stuff. Yeah. So, you fished on this, guys. No, not here. I, I, I'm over there, like trying to. Uh, like, if there's any on bed, dude, there has to be some over there. Watch this, dude. Watch me hook like a monster. That's where they were just. Are you serious, dude? I got a giant. No, I don't. Unless he's running it. Yeah, it's not big. Is he big? Oh, dude, that fish is a good one. I got a little twinky. He felt big when I hooked him, but. Bro, the fish in here are healthy. Like, they're, a lot of them have a nice little gut on them. Whoop. On the red-eye shad. <laughs> First one on a moving bait today. You know, we threw that swim bait earlier and threw on an old red-eye shad and got us a little nice. A little tiny guy, look. A little squeaker. Kind of spooked me. Dude. Dude, it didn't even, dude, I didn't even reel, bro. Connor, I didn't even reel. That's a dang good one. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'd never reeled my crankbait. It hit the top of the water and ate. Dude, that's a decent fish. Dude, that's insane. Well, we found the juice hole, Connor. Yeah, that's like the, the average that I usually catch in here. But like a little pounder, pound and a half. Dude, I can't believe, like on the GoPro, that's going to be crazy. I literally never reeled it. I just went straight to hook setting. That was... I think there's just a ton of fish. When we pulled up here, guys, that's a nice little bass. There was like... I feel bad dropping them, but we'll be fine. But there was like a bunch of fish chasing bait up on the bank. So my first two casts over there, we smacked one. Get him, boy. Oh! Dude, Connor's got a giant. Oh. 
<laughs> What's up? Wait, did he come? Oh, he didn't come off. Dude, that was such a cool hook set. Like everything about that. That's a good fish, bro. How big is he? Dude, I don't have enough line on this reel, but let me see. That. No, that's a pretty good one, dude. He was definitely on bed up there. Unless he was just super shallow. That's a nice fish. He looked bigger when you hooked him, dude. That, yeah, I thought you had a giant, giant. That's a good one, dude. Nice. Dude, that's a really good fish. A solid like two and a half. Slippery. <laughs> slippery. A little slippery boy. Dude, that's a decent fish. Oh my gosh, look at the growth on his tail, bro. Or he got bit or something, bro. Yeah. Is there any gators in here? Yeah. There is. is there actually? Right here. You see that, guys? Yeah, dude, he got injured somehow, bro. That's, that's recent, too. It almost looks like he has some parasites on him, too. Poor fish. That's a nice little bass right there, guys. Two-pounder. <laughs> that was a cool catch, though. I think I want to go release him over here. It's a little slippery on the bank right there. The day's coming together, guys. It's been a long day. You know, we hit a bunch of spots, and it's coming together now. Thank you so much, buddy. I hate that he has... Something wrong with his tail there. It's like he got injured, something bit him, or I don't know, it's weird. If you guys know the answer to that question, <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below. Yeah? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for for letting us fish right here too. I appreciate that. Yeah, dude. I, I keep my You got one? Oh nice, dude. Dude, that's a good fish. Nice. The last couple times, guys, that Connor's gone with me, he's just had like the worst luck. Literally. But you're catching him, dude. That's a good one. Yeah. I might be one of the best that we caught right here, right? Yeah, that's really not a bad fish, dude. That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you.